Yeah. Oh, your mother was a vegetarian. Oh, she is. But apparently the baby isn't and she doesn't want to impose her beliefs. I was just going to butter it for you. Everyone, I, I'd just like to say uh, thank you for making this a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. I know I speak for Dharma when I say that we're very grateful that everyone was able to put their differences aside and enjoy this event as a family. Right on. Yeah. Cheers. That butter you were talking about, you're just making conversation? I'm honest. Edward, dear, do you think this would be a good time uh, to make our little announcement? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that uh, gravy or sweet potato? <laughs> yes, well, why don't I just do it? Abby, Larry, over the last few years, we've come to consider you, for lack of a better word, family. <laughs> and we would like to do something special to help out with your new arrival. What do you mean, help out? Well, come along, we'll show you. Now, there's pie. <laughs> Voila, Abby, Larry, enjoy. You're giving us a van? Hey, we won this in some charity raffle. We have no use for the damn thing. <laughs> but you were the first people we thought of. Happy baby. Wow, do you believe this? No. I mean, I told my parents to be nice to your folks because of the baby, but... Boy, I'm good. Greg. <laughs> this is not good. How is this not good? So that's it, huh? We're too poor to get our own car? We can't provide for our own child? We need charity from Mommy and Daddy Warbucks? <laughs> so maybe that's how it's not good? Maybe. <laughs> If you ask me, that was the best Thanksgiving yet. You're kidding, right? No one's mad at us. <laughs> yeah, but we'd still be standing in the garage listening to them yell if your mother hadn't had a sudden urge for chicken and waffles. Probably. Yeah. Your father called my father a pimp for the Republican underbelly. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. But again... Nobody's mad at us. I guess the smart thing to do is just stay out of it, right? Yeah, that would be the smart thing. Okay, good night. Good night. <sighs> okay, here's the thing. My parents have a van that they do not want and that your parents desperately need. It's pretty much what I came away with. And... and... <laughs> If Larry could just get past his pride, he has a lot to gain here. No question. But that's not going to happen, right? Probably not. Okay. Good night. Good night. There's got to be a way to make Larry understand that he's just cutting off his nose to spite his face. Do you want to talk to him? Somebody has to. Then we'll go over there tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Hopefully they'll just be mad at you. <laughs> All right, Larry, I will grant you that it is possible that my father gave you the van to parade his vast wealth before you like a feudal lord tossing table scraps to the peasants. <laughs> Thank you. But isn't it also possible that he was just trying to do a nice thing? By what warp logic is giving someone a brand new car a nice thing? Well, <laughs> Greg. Uh, uh, come on, Larry, regardless of what you feel about my parents, wouldn't this be a great thing for you, Abby, and the baby? Yeah, and all the things that it has that you don't have in the old van, you know? Power windows, built-in baby seats, spare tire, turn signals. Reverse. <laughs> it even comes with a built-in TV and VCR. TV? In a van? Yeah, and it's got a video game and everything. And this means a lot to your parents? <laughs> You'd be doing them a favor. Come on, let's go take another look, just you and me. See you later. <laughs>
You're doing a good thing. It's because I'm a giver, Greg. So how are you feeling? A little bloated, actually. Really? Did you have anything salty? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, wait. Yeah, this morning I had a bowl of salt. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, I was thinking if I'm going to be a good midwife for you, we should go over the birth plan again. Well, actually, Dharma, I have some really good news about that. Yeah. Um, do you remember when we went to the spiritual midwifery seminar to hear Chloe Spencer Chung? Oh, yeah, she was amazing. Yeah. <gasps> wow, when did the versatile vagina come out in paperback? <laughs> it's just this month. She was signing them at the adult, and, you know... And I went, and we got to talking, and it turns out that she was available. For what? To be my midwife. Instead of me? No. No, no. With you, you know, the two of you together. Well, don't you think that's a little last minute, Abby? You're doing a couple weeks. Well, honey, she's the best midwife in the country. Look, even Dr. Art Uline thinks so. <laughs> Sure, we need her, Abby. I mean, I'm your daughter. I've been through your birth canal. I know the way. I'd really like to do this. All right. Well, you know, it's your birth, and it's going to make you happy. Then let's do it. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Hey, you know what? If you're feeling bloated, why don't we take a nice long walk and get your circulation going? Okay? That's a good idea. Hey. Maybe we could walk up to Vitelli's, grab a couple of meatball subs. Vitelli's? Are you sure? That's a very long hike. Yeah, you're right. We should drive. <laughs> Controls are laid out nice. Everything right at your fingertips. How much longer is this going to take? I don't know. Larry, do you want to uh, drive it again? No, thanks. I don't want to put any extra mileage on it in case I wind up taking it. <laughs> Good thinking, Larry. Ah. All right, Ed. Let's talk turkey. What's there to talk about? Do you want the van or not? Yes. Great. But I'm not just going to take it. Why? Because if I take it, he owns me. I don't want to own you. Good. Because Larry Finkelstein is not for sale. Good. I think we're making progress here. How about this? How about I put a brick on the gas pedal and point it toward the bay? <laughs> we were so close. Here's what I'm prepared to do, Ed. I'll buy it from you. Fine. How much you want to give me for it? Oh, no. How much do you want to sell it for? Okay, how about one dollar? Oh, sure. And then you get me with the undercoating and the floor mats and the extended warranty. I'm getting the brick. Dad. I'm getting the brick! Dharma, I love your family very much, but my father is going to bludgeon your father to death with a brick, and I'm going to let him. Uh, listen to this crap. Labor pains hurt because our brain doesn't know how to listen to our uterus. So set aside some time each day to dialogue with your uterus, your cervix, and yes, your vagina. That's the new Harry Potter book? Chloe Spencer Chung. Abby's bringing her into midwife with me. And that's not a good thing. No, please. My mother just wants to tell her friends that a hotsy totsy author massaged her perineum. <laughs> Who could blame her? I'll get it. Hello? Uh, Larry? Larry, I told you I, I can't deal with this anymore. You have, to, you have to work it out with my father. La La Larry, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. We're, uh, we're going through a tunnel. Yes, the whole apartment. <laughs> Greg, you know that kind of stuff freaks him out. Yes, I do. Now, the first thing I do with all my moms is make sure there's a good detailed birth plan. Uh, will there be chanting? Are we underwater? Are we doing anything festive with a placenta? Um, well, actually, yeah, Chloe Dharma and I worked out our birth plan. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I think I got everything. Huh. Very nice, dear. I'm sure there are things in here we can use. Anyway, a lot of my older moms have had success with a squat position. Oh, well, that's a possibility. Yeah. I, I could squat. Squat. Abby, I thought we decided that you were going to bend over the big rubber ball. 
She has a bad back. Yeah, I understand, but that's no reason to turn it into a circus act. <laughs> no, Abby, let's say squatting, and I'll find you some stretching exercises for your back. I think it's a little late for stretching. <laughs> this woman dropped a lamb chop yesterday and had to lay down to eat it. <laughs> you know, I think I'd like to squat. <laughs> Good for you, dear. Now, let's discuss creating a conducive atmosphere in that cold, sterile hospital room. Yeah, um... <clears throat> we actually have some ideas for that. Uh, we're going to bring in a lot of house plants and throw pillows. And here are choices for aromatherapy scents. Oh, aromatherapy. Lavender. <laughs> no. Uh, sandalwood. My goodness, no. Uh, wh what is that word? Eucalyptus. Are we expecting a little koala baby? <laughs> We're obviously starting from square one here, and I'm a little pressed for time, actually. I've got to fly to L.A. I'm appearing on Celebrity Jeopardy. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> so why don't we all regroup on Thursday night, and we'll straighten it all out. I can't. I teach a yoga class Thursday nights. Oh, well. I'm sure your students need you much more than we do, so why don't I just meet up with Mum alone, huh? <laughs> Ta-ta. 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 <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Chloe Spencer Chung is going to check the dilation in my cervix. <laughs> You're living the dream. <laughs> Abby, are you sure you don't want to do some stretching exercises before you get into bed? No. Okay. Remember from Chloe's book, it says you should stretch before you lie down. Why not let Mom decide and not rely on what you read in a book? But it's your... <laughs> okay. Abby, how about I put some music on? Do you want whale sounds or Janice Ian? Dharma, there's a cassette in my bag marked Early Labor. Why don't we put that on? Why don't we let Mom decide what she'd like to hear? Oh, I don't think we want to bother her now, do we? But you just... Okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going? What are you asking me for? I'm just here to crush the ice, change the music, and keep this stupid smile on my face. Hey, Abby. How's it going? Don't ask Mom how it's going, because that might seem like we're rushing her, right? Sorry. It's all right. We don't have to say we're sorry when we're learning. <laughs> How's it going? Great. Your father and I agreed that I'd buy the van from him for fair market value, so I dropped off a money order in his mailbox and drove away in my brand new van. Check it out. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. You want to try it? Oh, no, it's okay. Oh. Abby, you want to try it? It might take your mind off things. Locked. Abby, yeah. maybe this would be a good time to cleanse your aura. Oh, you know, Dharma's really good at that. Oh, all right. Suppose we can let her have a go at it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Abby, just close your eyes and relax. Okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dharma, we're pushing the bad energy down. Let's lift the energy up like that. That's what I'm doing. No! <laughs> you are going like that. No, I'm going like this. Honey, I think you were going like Okay, that. whatever. Chloe, can I touch you for a second? Should I keep going here in the Yes! <laughs> Listen, I have been cleansing my mother's aura since I was six years old. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think you've done any permanent damage. <laughs> okay, listen. We've been planning this birth for months, and now Abby is throwing away everything she wanted because she's a little starstruck by you. No, I don't think so. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> anyway, here's the deal. I'm going to help Abby get back to the original plan, and if you'd like, you can stick around and help. Oh, I understand. Big sister's got a lot of confusing emotions with a new baby here. I'm not confused. I just don't like what's going on here, and I don't like you. You're a passive-aggressive, new-age, squatting birth bully. That's great. <laughs> Let it all out. Wonderful. 
<laughs> Daddy, I think Mommy could do with some belly massage. No, actually, Larry, I think she needs some cold compresses. Can you give her the cold compress? But we're done with the feet, right? <laughs> I mean, let's try deep breaths now. She can't do deep breaths. She's having ice chips. <laughs> Finkelstein, what the hell is this? $7,800, fair market value. How did you come up with $7,800? Ed, how much can the thing be worth? You were going to give it away. Oh. oh, hello, Abby. The contractions are two minutes apart. Uh, they're three minutes, Two dear. minutes. I timed them. You're supposed to time them from the start of the contraction. I did. Oh. See? Now you start. No, you have to wait for the little line to jump. Oh. Hang on, Abby. <laughs> See? There. There. See that? That is a labor Listen. Page. Hey, Abby. How you doing? Okay. Cool. Holler if you need me. All right, Ed. There's no way I'm paying you $30,000 for a used car. But you're the only one who used it. All right. Well, how much did you pay for it? I want you to know that I hear and respect your anecdotes. Yes, and I want you to know that I hear and respect your patronizing Mother Earth crap. I don't know. Can I get some ice chips? Five dollars. Fine. And I think I got some change. And another thing? The ones with the X's or decaps are out of your mind. Maybe I'm out of my mind. I'm going to need some meditation. No, we don't meditate. I don't need some meditation. I'm going to run an assortment of verbal teas. I know. You know what it means. Just give me the chips. I knew you were going to say that. Please. Edward, how long? You expect me to wait in the car? Give me the damn keys. No, I want the keys. I want the keys, baby. Make your move. Look at that. I forgot stirs. I'll be back. Happy, dear. Do you need something to ease the pain? Oh, God, yes. Oh, God, so. We need an anesthesiologist in here. But she doesn't need drugs. Breathe, Abby. Breathe. Focus, Abby. Focus. I want drugs. I'm on it. Wait a minute. Where the hell are you going? Nice going. Now she wants drugs. How are we doing in here? This woman needs an epidural right now. Who are you? She's the midwife. <laughs> you heard me. I want her. Finkelstein, where do you think you're going with my van? Your van, my van. What's the difference? You heard Abby. She needs drugs. <laughs> From the hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah. The hospital. Right, sure. I love that sound. You're doing great, honey. Keep pushing. Sounds like the baby's crowning. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yep, I think you're right. <laughs> this is really wild. Check it out, Kitty. No, no. Someone needs to stay with Abby's face. <laughs> You know, Chloe, um, it got kind of crazy in there, and maybe some things got said that shouldn't have. Apology accepted. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and? And you mustn't be too hard on yourself. You meant well. <laughs> Tom, your mother would like you to come back in. What do you know? I'm back in. With the understanding that you stand quietly and just watch. I'm still back in. <laughs> okay, let me, let me see if I understand your counter offer. $300 a month at 8% interest. And he gets, I'm an idiot, tattooed on his forehead. That could be a deal breaker. I'm not bending on that one. Okay, I'll run it by him. <laughs> I have a son. I have a brother. I helped deliver a baby. In heels. <laughs> no, dear, the universe delivers the baby. We just sign for it. I'm sorry. Were you here? <laughs> this is such a miracle. Thank you, everybody, for being here and helping out. Look at his little hand. I'm so proud of you, Abby. Me too. Hi, little baby man. He seems preoccupied with the kid. Maybe we can finalize this van thing. <laughs> no, no, Dad. Just a thought. <laughs> you are such a cute guy. Welcome to the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a cute guy.